All right, so number one, the first reason, first biblical reason why Jesus Christ went to hell. We read here in Psalm 16, it says here, I've set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I shall not be moved. Therefore, my heart is glad and my glory rejoiceth. My flesh also shall rest in hope. For thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Thou wilt show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Now this is why we have to be careful with Old Testament passages, right? And especially in the Psalms, because we know that the Psalms are, are songs written by people, but they often have a, a spiritual meaning. And that's why, you know, if you would apply this to the person actually who wrote or spoke the Psalm through the Holy Spirit, it doesn't always make sense because David wrote this Psalm and he spoke this Psalm and he's talking about, um, you know, God not leaving his soul in hell. How does that make sense? Well, we don't have to guess because we are actually explained by the Apostle Peter, uh, what this verse actually means. So we go to Acts 2, um, verse 25. And it says here in uh, Acts 2, it says, For David speaketh concerning him. Uh, who's the him? Jesus Christ. I foresaw the Lord always before my face, for he is on my right hand that I should not be moved. So this is the same psalm, Psalm 16. Therefore did my heart rejoice, and my tongue was glad. Moreover also my flesh shall rest in hope. Because thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Thou hast made known to me the ways of life. Thou shalt make me full of joy with thy countenance. And now look, the apostle, uh, Peter the Apostle goes on to explain here in verse 29. Men and brethren, let me freely speak unto you of the patriarch David, that he is both dead and buried, and his sepulcher is with us unto this day. So he's saying, guys, David wrote this psalm and he preached this psalm, but let me tell you that David is dead and we still have his grave here today. Therefore, being a prophet and knowing that God had sworn with an oath to him, that of the fruit of his loins, according to the flesh, he would raise up Christ to sit on his throne. So that's interesting there that David knew about Jesus Christ. He knew about this son that would come and be risen again. Um, he seeing this, look at this, verse 31. He seeing this, be, he seeing this before spake of the resurrection of Christ, that his soul, so who's the his? That Christ's soul was not left in hell, neither his flesh did see corruption. This Jesus hath God raised up, whereof we all are witnesses. Therefore, being by the right hand of God exalted and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost, he hath shed forth this which ye now see and hear. So this, you know, we could stop at this point and just know that Jesus Christ went to hell because the Bible says here that Acts 16, even though David was preaching and saying, thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy uh, one to see corruption. The Bible says here that that is actually David being a prophet preaching about what Christ was going to fulfill, what Christ was actually going to do. And it says there in verse 31 that he seeing this, so David seeing this before, spake of the resurrection of Christ, that his soul was not left in hell, neither his flesh should see corruption. Look here in verse 34, For David is not ascended into the heavens, but he saith himself, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand until I make thy foes thy footstool. <clears throat> Therefore let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God hath made that, that same Jesus whom he had crucified, both Lord and Christ. So from Acts 2.31, we could just stop at that point and just know Jesus Christ went to hell and leave it at that. But some people might say, well, you know, maybe you're not understanding it properly. You know, you shouldn't just take one verse and just run with it. So let's look at a couple of other reasons why um, Jesus Christ went to hell, besides the plain fact that, Pete, the, that Peter the Apostle expounded on Psalm 16 and clearly explained to us that Jesus Christ's soul went to hell. Now, one thing I just want to note here as well, uh, it says here <coughs> in verse 27, it says, Because thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, uh, sorry, verse 26, Therefore did my heart rejoice and my tongue was glad, moreover also my flesh shall rest in hope. Now, this is one reason why I believe Jesus Christ did go and he did suffer 
in hell rather than just going there to take ownership of hell because if he just went there just to take ownership of hell and he wasn't burning he wasn't suffering why was his soul resting in hope you know why was he there saying you know my soul shall rest in hope for that will not leave my soul in hell it's almost like he didn't want to be there but if he was just there to, to get the keys it seemed like you know, what, what was the big deal? Why, why is he resting in hope? He knew he was going to get out. He knew he, he, he was uh, just going there just to, uh, to, to take ownership. Uh, why would he have this, uh, this despair right? or this, this hope that one day he was going to get out? So that's uh, one thing there. 